In this video, you are going to learn how to prove divisibility by induction. We are going to use June 2020, question 10. So it reads, prove by induction that 6 to the n minus 5 n plus 4 is divisible by 5 for all positive integral values of n, 6 marks. Well, as with n divisibility induction, we are going to start at the initial stage. At this stage, we want to prove that the statement here holds for n is equal to 1. So what we do, we check this one here and we substitute it where there is n and where there is n here. Then we get 6 to the n minus 5 times 1 plus 4 like this. Okay, then after that, we, we, we get 6 minus 5 plus 4, which gives us, which, which gives us uh, 5 here, which is, div which is a multiple of, of 5. Hence, it is true for n is equal to 1. Then we move on to the assumption stage. On the assumption stage, we don't prove here. We just write the result for n is equal to k. So we assume that the statement here, this statement, the initial statement that we had, this one, we assume that it is true for n is equal to k, such that if we substitute k here and here, we get 6 to the k minus 5k plus 4. The answer that we get, we assume that it's going to be a multiple of 5 here. So we, we just write 5 times a certain expression or a certain number that we don't know. But write down that result. It's an assumption. It's just right. We are just assume that if we substitute k here and here, we are going to get a multiple of what? Of 5. Then it is important at this stage to make our 6 to the k the subject of the formula such that we have 6 to the k is equal to 5l plus 5k minus 4. That's the assumption stage. We are just rearranging. We, we are not altering anything here. So we have our result for, for n is equal to k. Okay, now we move on to the next stage, which is the thesis stage. Uh, but in this case, we have uh, combined the thesis stage and the proof stage. What we do for the thesis stage? So we are substituting k plus 1 for n, right? Uh, so, so we get 6 to the k plus 1 minus 5. Then k plus 1 for, for, for n there plus 4 is equal to 5. Again, we're going to assume it's going to give us a what? A multiple of 5. So it's 5m. M representing n expression that we might get there. But the bottom line is we have to get 5 as a factor of a certain expression here. Okay. So this is the result for n is equal to k plus 1. We just write it. Then after that, we take the left-hand side the left hand side of this thesis stage this left hand side okay this left hand side we are going to take it and we have to play around with this left hand side until we get 5m which is on the right hand side in this case we're going to use the laws of indices here because 6 to the k plus 1 is just the same as 6 to the k times 6 to the 1 okay then minus 5k is this is minus 5k, then minus 5 plus 4, we get minus 1 here. So after doing this, after playing around with the left hand side a bit, we can now be, we, we are now able to substitute this right here, the assumption stage. What we do on the proof stage, the, the left hand side of the thesis stage, 
will marry the right hand side of the of the assumption stage so here we have 6k which is exactly what we have here on the left hand side so on the left hand side of the of of the assumption stage so we are going to take this and substitute it where there is 6k here 6 to the k here and we get 6 this 6 multiply by 5k 5l plus 5k minus 4 which represents 6 to the k then minus 5k minus 1 minus 1 here we just take as it is okay then then we 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 expand this bracket to get 3l plus 3k minus 24 minus 5k minus 1 and uh we do some simplification here grouping like terms 3k minus 5k we get 25k here minus 25 this 25 here so so after doing this after doing this we then factor out five because what we want to prove is the answer that we are going to get here is a multiple of what is a multiple of five so it should be possible for us to factor out five and uh and then after that we 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 get our answer here um five times this expression which is 5m remember i said m m here m here on the right hand side of the thesis stage just represents an expression that we don't know but we know that we have to factor out five so basically if we can do do that here then m is what what to 6l plus 5 k minus 5 so we indicate here where m is equal to 6l plus 5k minus 5 then after that we give the conclusion for this stage for the for the proof stage hence left hand side is called right hand side uh, our right hand side on the thesis stage thus the statement holds for n is equal to k plus 1 since the statement is true for n is equal to k n is equal to n equals n is equal to 1 and n is equal to k plus 1 therefore by induction by mathematical induction the statement holds for all positive integral values of of n we have proved our 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 divisibility thanks everybody for watching be a gem insider